Oops. But it wasn't me. I have this little sister, Lola. She is small and very funny. Sometimes Lola likes to play with my things. Usually, I don't mind. One day, I come home from school with the best thing I've ever made. Ooh. It took me 10 days, 3 hours and 40 minutes to make the outside, which is called the superstructure. It's built from three cereal packets, 10 yogurt pots, 28 bottle tops, 157 sweet wrappers, and a roll of extra wide tin foil. Lola says, Ooh. Don't touch it. This rocket is really breakable. I don't mind you playing with most of my things, but you must double, triple promise you will never play with it. Let's play something else then, says Lola. I say, I've promised to play football with Marv. What am I going to do? Why don't you play with Soren Lawrenson? Soren Lawrenson is Lola's imaginary friend. No one can see him except for Lola. Soren Lawrenson always wants to play with me. Hello, Soren Lawrenson. Charlie's gone to play football with Marv, so we can play a very good game, can't we? And Soren Lawrenson says... Yes, but those two hyenas that are brothers and twins. And that tiny small elephant. Oh yeah, Ellie. Where will the adventure be? The place where all the animals live. In Animal Land. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie's really sad because he doesn't like the nasty hyenas laughing at him. <laughs> Those hyenas are meanies, aren't they? <laughs> what are we going to do? <laughs> we can't leave Ellie all sad. He must go back to all his nice friends in Animal Land. How are we going to get him there? Then Sir and Lawrence points to the rocket. Lola says, But that is an extremely breakable and special rocket. And Charlie said we should never, never touch it or play with it. But I think what Charlie meant was that if we did play with it, we must be extra specially careful. So Lola reaches up to get the rocket. Remember to be extra specially careful, Lola. I am, I am. Oh, no! Lola looks at the pieces of broken rockets. You know, I think that when things are broken, they can always be mended and made like new. If we both act normally, Lola, then Charlie might not think we did it. No, he'll never know. When I get home, I shout... Ah! My rockets! Lola, did you break my rockets? Lola says... I didn't break your rocket, Charlie. You are telling a big lie, Lola. And you know it. Don't tell Mum! Wait, Charlie. I just have to quickly talk to Sarah and Lawrence. Do you think we should tell him what really happened? Maybe we could tell Charlie somebody else broke the rocket. Yes, because it's nearly true. So Lola comes to talk to me. Charlie, Sora and Lawrence and me have got something very extremely important to tell you. What? It is the real true story of who broke your special rocket. <sighs> well, me and Sora and Lawrence were playing in our room, Charlie, and Ellie needed to go in your rocket. I didn't think it was a good idea, but he had to get away. So he squeezed Ellie, and it was a real squish. But we did it! And then we took off. And then 
Until we landed, and we were so squished that the rocket just fell to pieces. And that's what happened. Right, I'm going to tell Mum. Oh dear, I don't think he believed us. I think I have to tell Charlie the truth. But will it make Charlie like me again? As long as you say sorry too. Lola knocks at the door. Sorry, Lawrence, and really want to say sorry for breaking your rocket, Charlie. So I just shut the door. Then there's another knock. And Lola says... It was me that broke your rocket. Just as I was getting your extremely special rocket down from the really high shelf, it fell and broke into lots of pieces. I'm really ever so sorry for breaking your extremely special rocket, Charlie. And I say... Are you really, Lola? Sorry, Charlie. And she does look really very sorry. So I say, that's OK. At least you've told the truth. <laughs> then Lola sees the rocket. <gasps> you mended it, Charlie! Yes, Lola, I've mended it. I like it. Touch it!